Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Legends. Alright, so we've just finished up the second subgate, so let's get back on the boat and head back to town. Okay, I'm fresh out of ideas, you know. What bothers me most is that while we're sitting here, he's out there digging up all sorts of stuff! Calm down, Teasel. You're going to burst. He won't beat us to the treasure. No one will as long as that big door is still locked. All we have to do is make sure we get rid of him before then. Right? So what if he digs up a few scraps here and there? He can keep that garbage. All we're after is whatever's behind the main gate. Right, Teasel? You know, you're absolutely right. Then that will be our new plan. We'll wait for him to open the main gate. We'll let him keep whatever he finds until then. He'll see. It'll be the Bonds who have the last laugh in this game. That's right! <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else just want one of those little Lego men around the house? That'd be so awesome. <laughs> Alright, what do you got to say, Wily? You're back, eh? Oh, that's quite a prize you brought back with you. I must say, you've certainly exceeded my expectations of you. Well, you're welcome to come back and use the boat anytime you want to. Well, sorry, we don't really have a need to anymore. Alright, so uh, for now, we've picked up the refractor, and Roll mentioned that we can probably use it to repair the flutter, so that's uh, pretty much where we're going to be heading next. What do you want? Uh, what about Roll? A girl with a red cap? She went by just a minute ago. Okay, well, that's helpful, I guess. <laughs> She'd kind of have to. I don't know where else she would go, but whatever. Alright, so yeah, going back to the flutter is pretty much what we're going to be doing now, so let's hop in the support car and talk to Roll, and she'll pretty much automatically take us there. I don't believe it, Mega Man. It's a red refractor. With this, we should be able to repair the flutter. Hooray! Let's go, Mega Man. Let's go fix the flutter. Alright, I'm glad you're so excited about it. Mega Man, could you take care of the refractor? Okay. Finished. It's ready. Okay, I'm all done here too. I'm going to fire up the engine, Mega Man. You grab that blue lever there. Gotcha. This one, right? Yep, on my mark. Ready. Cell switch on. Refractor rotation speed increasing. Engine field generation at 80%. Safety lock check. Initiating countdown. Three, two, one. Mega Man, now! Here goes. Metastatic field operational. Pair production active. Come on, fly. We're flying! It worked! You did it, Roll! We're flying! We're flying! Well, I still have a lot of work left, but we should be able to get around the island at least. And you'll be able to reach that cave now, too. Let me know when you want to start a dig at the cave, and I'll take you there any time. Alright, so we've got the flutter fixed, she's up and running, and we can use her to fly around the island. We don't really use it for that much, actually. We're pretty much only going to use it to get to the third subgate. Yeah, that's right, we're pretty much there already. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to kind of get a little tour of the flutter here. This is Roll's room. She's got all her uh, machinery and equipment around here. Uh, I'm supposing this is what she uses to spot for us, so that's kind of cool. Got a few different things around here. It looks like Data is kind of hanging around here, which is cool. So let's go ahead and head on out. The flutter really isn't that big. It's a lot bigger in Mega Man Legends 2, I'll tell you that much. It's insanely large in that game. Uh, but for here, it's pretty much limited to uh, these three rooms and this little hallway area. 
So, uh, let's uh, come out here to the living room. As you can see, there's a TV here. We can actually turn it on. The northern parts of the island should expect sunshine in the morning, followed by clouds in the afternoon. Those of you heading for the closer woods might want to take an umbrella along, just in case. Yeah, it never rains. The weather never changes, so it's no big deal. Can we read the paper? Let's see what the headlines say. Battle in Uptown. Pirate involvement suspected. There's another headline. Flutter flies again. Wait, what? And we've, uh, for some reason, got a picture of some sheep on the wall. Uh, I have no idea why. <laughs> and that even says it's a picture of sh some sheep. So, whatever. Alright, got a little aquarium. Let's check it, too. Tank is filled with tropical fish. Ah. Alright, Gramps, what have you got to say? Oh, hi, Mega Man. Amelia asked me to find out what I could about the treasure that's supposed to be buried here. Silence just got so many mysteries, I don't know where to start looking. Mega Man, have you ever heard of the main gate? Can't say I have. The largest rune on the island is called the Main Gate and can be found near the Old City. What's unusual about it is that as far as anyone knows, there's no way to get inside. I have a theory that it's connected in some way to or with the subgates. Tell me, Mega Man, have you found a passage in the subgates that connects to the Main Gate? Uh, nope. If I'm right, the subgate in the Closer Woods is some kind of key for the Main Gate. And I'm willing to bet anything the treasure those pirates are after is inside the Main Gate. They probably realize how close they and we are to getting the treasure. Don't let your guard down. Alright, thanks for the story. Can we get a coke out of here? I'm thirsty. Come on, you're in the way. You found soft drink. Ah, refreshing. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and check out the rest of the ship. There's only a couple more rooms. The blue one here is Mega Man's room. Of course, they're all kind of color-coded. And his room is rather bland, I have to say. It's not near as cool as Roll's room. Uh, we can check out the clock here. It's an antique clock. Roll gave it to you for your birthday. You better think of something to give her in return. Yeah, that's right. She gave me a grandfather clock for my room for my birthday. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, yeah. We can also uh, check the cactus here. It's a cactus, but it's not yours. It's something Data picked up. He says it makes a good conversation partner. <laughs> Whatever. All right. So there's just one more room to check out. And this is, of course, uh, Beryl's room. And there's actually something in here we can be getting. So uh, I guess it's a good thing we're taking a little tour of this place. Yeah, this one's pretty cramped, but it's got some neat little stuff in it. We can check out a lot of this, but, eh, I don't know, there's not really that much of a need to. What we're actually here for is this little chest. Uh, it's a chest, is there anything inside? We find a bomb schematic, so of course we're going to be using that to make something. But for now, let's go back into uh, Roll's room and talk to her. This one right here. And uh, we can make quite a few things right now with all the stuff we picked up. So let's talk to her. There, she's finally fixed. Well, it's not 100% fixed, but we should be able to get around the island. She'll be able to take us to the other subgates or the closer woods. Yeah, pretty much. So as you can see, we've got an option here to go to the subgate, and that'll continue on the story. But first, let's head into the R&D room. And it pretty much looks just like the support car, except it's like a dark red instead of green, but whatever. So let's talk to Roll, have her make some more cool stuff for us. Ta-da! The first thing we get, the bomb schematic was used to make the Grand Grenade Special Weapon. It's another arm-mounted weapon. It allows you to shoot out even stronger grenade bombs. They're really powerful. You might even be able to use it to blow up walls inside the ruins. And second, the rollerboard and old hover jets were used to make jet skates. Mega Man, I came up with something different again. Jet skates. With these, you'll be able to move a lot faster than you can by running. Just be careful you don't get hit by cars if you use them in the city, pretty much. Now we get some uh, instructions here. I'll, I'll tell you how to use them. It's really not complicated. <laughs> Alright, uh, no, don't need them again. And then finally, the joint plug, which I told you to pick up, was to make use to make the adapter plug. Got something for you. Something to attach to your Mega Man Buster. Until now, you've only been able to use two parts simultaneously, right? Well, with this, you'll be able to use three different parts at a time. What do you think of that? I think it's awesome. That's what I think of that. Okay, so we're going to uh, actually be switching weapons over to the Grand Grenade. It turns out we're pretty much going to need it. Uh, coming up in this next dungeon, so it's uh, good to have on. It's not, it's a, it's more useful than the regular grenade arm for sure, but eh, it's still kind of average in my opinion. And also, we want to talk to her here. What a wonderful little ring! Did you really find it underground? It's so nice. Eh, why don't you keep it? You mean I can have it? Wow, well, thank you so much, Mega Man. I promise I'll always wear it. All right, there we go. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we need to be doing in here, I believe. So uh, let's get on out of here. And before we actually uh, move on to the next uh, subgate area, remember I said there were three games we could do in that KTOX TV place, uh, and one of them we couldn't do yet. Well, the upgrade that we needed turns out was the jet skates. Uh, but first, before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and put on a uh, third mustard part here. Uh, well, that would be nice, actually. 
Let's see, or we can just keep increasing both of those. Eh, let's go with the turbo battery. Got a pretty nice uh, looking little setup there, don't we? Works pretty well. Alright, so, um, let's see, we need to be going to Uptown, so it's probably a good idea to, uh, I think we can get the support car op option from the R&D room. It's kind of weird, uh, I don't know how that works out exactly, but, you know, talk to roll, support car, there we go. And we want to go back to Uptown to get to those mini games again. And uh, this third game that we're going to be doing, uh, like I said, requires the jet skates. So once we get out of here, I'm going to equip those and show you what those uh, do. It's pretty cool, actually. It's a neat little upgrade here. So we can check out the jet skates. And as you can see, our special items is almost filled up. So <laughs> that's kind of crazy. It's all the three refractors we got from small to largest there. Kind of cool. So let's go ahead and equip the jet skates. And basically to use these, you just stand in place and hold circle. And you'll start skating around. It's kind of cool. You can use... Okay, you can get hit by cars, that's fun too. Uh, but you can use the directional buttons, you can hit like down to brake, you can go up to go faster. And uh, turn, you can also like strafe and do a combination of braking and turning and strafing to do really tight turns like this, if you want. So, yeah, we're going to be using that in the uh, final KTOX TV game here. And I should have time to uh, get the A rank of each of these done. We actually want to talk to this guy over here, he's a director. Say, you look like you're a pretty good runner. You want to try out for my show? It's a race through city streets. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Great, come on then, let's go. Alright, so this is kind of a fun little game, but it can also be kind of tricky. Let's go ahead and hear the rules. This game is a timed race through the city streets. The object is passed through the course marked by the red cones within the time limit. The yellow cones are bonus cones. Knock them over as you're running, and the clock will stop short for a while. You win if you finish the course within the time limit. There are three courses and four ranks A through D. Starting at rank D and your ranking will go up as you win races. However, the higher your rank is, the shorter the time limit gets. If you win at the race at rank A, you'll win a prize. Want to hear the rules again? Uh, no, I'm good. Alright, so we've got three courses to pick from, and I'm pretty much just going to skip straight to rank A of each of them. Um, well, except for maybe for the straight course. It's kind of easy, and it'd be a good chance to uh, sort of explain what we're doing. So as you can see here, we have a time limit of 12 seconds, and we've got some cones marked for us to go through. So basically hold circle, and uh, you'll start going, and basically your goal is to pass through the cones, uh, and I messed up. Yeah, you have to go through them all in order, so, or else you'll get disqualified. Uh, kind of an embarrassing start, but whatever, it's fine. Alright, so let's try this again. We want to go through the cones here, go uh, through here. See, my problem is that I try to, uh, like, cut it really close, so, <laughs> you know, I, I kind of I miss them a lot, but... There you go, you go through the goal within the time limit, you win, and you move on to the next rank. So we'll try it again, and uh, as usual, I'll meet you guys once we get to rank A. Okay, so we've won at rank A, and we win the music box as our reward. All right, and every time you get sort of a high score, they keep the top three ranks. You can put in your uh, initials if you want, but it really doesn't matter. You can just put all A's for you know, all that really matters, but all right, there we go. As you can see, I also even got a new record at 556, so <laughs> that's pretty good, actually. Okay, so next up is the left curve course. I'll meet you there. All right, so here we are in the left, corv left curve course rank A. So we have a time limit of 8 seconds, and this one is a little bit trickier because, as you can see, we're going to have to go around a corner here, hence the name Left Curve. So let's go ahead and do it. This can be a little bit disorienting when you try to do it. You want to try to get that cone there, go through the cones, and there we go. So yeah, it's pretty much just a straight line, but you kind of have to bob back and forth when it gets to the end. So there we go. We get a time of 7.06, and we win the Omni unit as a reward, which is a pretty good little buster part. So that's good to pick up. Let's just go ahead and move on now to the technical course. Alright, so the technical course is a beast, let me tell you. This thing is hard. You're going to need a lot of practice to get through this, especially on rank A. Alright, so as you can see, we've got 16 seconds, and this one involves a lot of bobbing back and forth. It's kind of hard to explain the way I do it. You just have to learn the uh, proper combination between strafing, turning, braking, and speeding up, pretty much. My fingers are literally going crazy as I'm doing this. This part right here is really hard. 
but <laughs> eventually with enough practice you get through it. And I had quite a lot of time to spare, actually, and a second and a half to be exact. So to do that, we went a giant horn, and of course the giant horn is actually one of the things we're going to be taking to the museum. So in order to get the uh, very final ultimate weapon I've been talking about, you have to beat this on uh, rank A. It can be really daunting, I'm not gonna lie, it's very difficult, it just takes a lot of practice to get good at. Okay, so now that we've finished that, let's go ahead and uh, head on out of the building, and we're pretty much ready to go to the third subgate now. Uh, but I am out of time, so in the next part we will actually head into the third subgate, probably finish it. So uh, until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.